Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> let's take a look at surface area of non-right cylinders and prisms. Now, <clears throat> talked about how right cylinders, because they make a right angle at the end. We have another one of these. We've got right angles all over the place. I unfortunately don't have a non-right prism. I do have a non-right cylinder. And the easiest way to tell whether it's non-right or not is you'll notice here it meets at a nice 90 degree angle. Here it slants off to the side. So I have a definitive slant off to the side. Okay, so that's what we're talking about, non-right figures. Now, with non-right figures, what we're going to deal with is let's start with the vault or the uh, surface area of a right figure. It's going to be 2B plus PH because it's super easy, perimeter, height, and the two bases. Okay. And if you unfold it, this is called a net where you unfold the figure, you create all these lines and it's like a net. So we call it a net. Here you have a base. Here's a base. So it's like the top got popped out on this, like jack in a box, okay? And then you have one side, two sides, three sides, four sides. Now, you'll notice when I draw it on a picture, I draw parallelograms. But in real life, each one of these is actually a nice true rectangle or square. So that's for rights. For not rights, it becomes a lot tougher becomes a lot tougher and we have a base down here and that base is angled okay and so if you're looking at this this base and this base are very very similar and this comes off what you end up with though is something very different you end up with a square base like last time And those two bases are going to be the same. So just like this, just like this, they pop open and they're a base. And on one side, they are attached by a perfectly rectangular piece, just like this side. But then the next piece is actually at an angle. It's actually a parallelogram where the height is not the same, okay? And then you have another parallel side, and then you'll have another angled piece. So to cut this out and put it all together would actually give it to you. So you cannot use 2B plus PH because the perimeter is not going to be the same the perimeter is not going to be the same because this side won't allow to be used. You'll have to use one that makes a right angle with the side. So you end up having to do different pieces. So the two Bs are okay, but I can't do perimeter times H anymore. What I have to do is I have to do 2B plus a length times a height, two of those guys, plus these weird parallelograms. And the parallelograms are going to be a true width, not an angle, times a height. And so you'll have to figure it out from there. To give you a description of how tough this becomes, rather than putting them all together or visualizing, I took this non-right cylinder, OK? And I wrapped the non-right cylinder just like I wrapped the cylinder. Now, you remember last time the cylinder was a nice, pretty rectangle that we were able to use. And as you can see here, I have it nice and even off this end. I have nice and even off this end, and they come together and just touch here. So I thoroughly have the sides done. Problem is, when I unwrap it, that ain't no rectangle. So in fact, Short of calculus, you cannot find the surface area of a non-right cylinder. And to find it of a non-right prism means you're going to actually have to find each of the individual sides by themselves rather than together. So I wanted to address it, but you're going to have to find them each individually, and cylinders is outside of your reach. So here we go.